So once a week I want to start doing a more of a vlog style video. Something a little more candid, just about my journey building out this entire huge garden. So today's video is going to be about building out my fog ponic gardens. Whoa. And to follow the story correctly, I'm going to have to tell you about my journey with fog ponics so far. So, let's go back about two months to when it all began. Okay, so, oh, we'll, leave, we'll leave the hat on. So two months ago, before this channel existed, I really wanted to do a whole series that was aeroponics versus soil. And so my best friend Eric agreed to grow a bunch of herbs and a cantaloupe and a jalapeno plant um, alongside of me so we could really see uh, the difference. I still want to make the series, don't worry, but I completely botched the first round and here's how. So I built this fog ponic garden that was actually pretty cool. It was just a PVC pipe with a bunch of holes for the fog ponic pucks to go in. I realized though that if I wanted these plants to grow as big as I want them to grow, then I'm gonna need more room for the roots. I also had a huge issue with fog just leaking everywhere. And I learned really quickly that it's much easier to contain water than it is fog. So I had fog pouring all over the place. I took advantage of this and put all my seedlings in the fog. But the big downfall was that I was filling the water reservoir all the time. It felt like almost every day, like every other day, I was putting like a gallon of water in there because it had basically just become my garden humidifier. Well, unbeknownst to me, all that humidity is what actually was keeping these, these smaller plants alive in the fog planet garden because I transplanted them to my cloner garden once I got that built because I wanted to try to seal up the cracks and the gaps and, and the areas where all this air was escaping in the herb garden. Um, and then I was gonna replant them in the herb garden, but I never got a chance to do it. I didn't take humidity into account when I planted them in the cloner and they all quickly wilted and died. Um, some of them came back, but the growth was severely stunted. They like didn't seem to want to grow at all. The root system was growing, but there was nothing up top. And I don't really know enough about fog ponics to know what that's all about, but hopefully I'll learn and get to share with you guys in one of these videos. <laughs> Eric's plants, on the other hand, thrived. They grew huge. Last time I was at his house, they were really, really big. His uh, cantaloupe was flowering and everything was growing really, really well. I was a bit jealous because all mine had shriveled and died. So that told me about humidity, how important it is to make sure that you have hum humidity on top uh, whenever you transplant into a fog ponic garden. Um, it's so dry here. It's like 30% humidity. So what I did to fix that problem was I took this 10 gallon aquarium and I flipped it upside down and put it on top of the cloner. And I took one of the pucks out of the cloner to allow moisture up into that, and it gets pretty humid in there. Um, it definitely is enough to keep the plants from wilting and dying. So when I planted my herbs, I took all of that into account. The humidity, making sure my roots were wet. I researched as much as I could to try to figure out why it all died in the first place, and I wanted this round to survive. All right, bud, do you want to go check on the plants? Yeah, I do. Well, come here, put your jacket on. I don't want to put my jacket on. It's, how cold is it outside, Mama? Five. Five degrees outside. Five degrees. So, so it's cold. Come here, bud. Yeah, bud. It's so warm in here. It's so warm in here? Yeah. It is pretty warm in here. All right, let me put this on the tripod real quick, dude. Well, what'd you just eat, buddy? Cilantro. No cilantro? Yeah. Mom was just setting the camera up. And you just ate my cilantro. How was it? Good. Was it good? Yeah. I'm really glad. I'm really glad it was good. Try some. You want me to try some? Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. That's good. How does everything else look, buddy? How does this one look? 
How does this one look? It looks so sad. So let me tell you what I have growing now in all of these different gardens because I took everything up and I split it up because I wanted to see how everything was gonna grow, kind of conducting an experiment to report to you guys. And I just didn't wanna lose everything. All right, so I have Swiss chard growing in the Fogponic herb garden as well as in my bathroom tower garden. I also have fennel growing in the herb garden, the bathroom tower garden, and the cloner. The only surviving basil is currently in the cloner. I'm gonna see if that even makes it through the night. And I have arugula planted in the cloner, the herb garden, and the bathroom tower garden. Oh, yeah, there's one more garden that I forgot to mention, and it has actually been the most consistent, the, the fastest growing, and the most reliable garden that I have, and it is my $5 Cafe Bustelo Espresso Garden. Uh, I planted the thyme in this because thyme I use more than any other herb and I wanted to make sure it was gonna survive. So I planted it in my most reliable garden and I will record that growth and report it back to you guys. This garden has produced a few of my best growing plants and I'm really excited to see how it handles this time. So I'm really excited to see how all of these plants grow in all three of these gardens over the next few days. I'm gonna be sure to make a video of it and report that to you guys next week. So make sure you're subscribed. We can grow some more. I can eat it. We have to grow some more because you just ate it? Yeah. We can grow some more. Well? It's gonna just ate it. It's fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. I think you're exactly right. We do have to grow some more because you just ate it. That was good. That was so good. Do you want some more cilantro? I have some cilantro over in the tower garden. Okay. Will we try? I'd love to. Yeah, could you pick me a little bit of cilantro, please? Yeah. Is that good cilantro? Thanks, bud. Mmm, that is good cilantro. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Till next time. Bye bye.